This lecture is brought to you by the rotator cuff. Everybody's heard of the rotator cuff, but it's not actually a muscle. There are four component muscles. The supraspinatus, infraspinatus, teres minor, and subscapularis. We can see the muscles here. Supraspinatus is a muscle that rubs above your scapular spine, and it's involved in abducting the shoulder. Not the only abductor, but it's also the one that's most often torn in a rotator cuff injury. Infraspinatus is a muscle that's involved in external rotation, so you use it to externally rotate the shoulder. You can see why these muscles are named the way they are. If we look at a skeleton, and look at the back of the skeleton, we can see the shoulder blades here, the scapula. And on the scapula, there's a scapular spine. Above that spine is the supraspinatus muscle, so above the spine. Below is the infraspinatus. We've just talked about both of those. Teres minor is a muscle that's down here, and it, when it shortens, it will abduct, it'll adduct the humerus. Now, from the back, we couldn't see subscapularis. We'd have to peel the shoulder blade back and look deep. It's a big muscle, and it does just the opposite of infraspinatus. What it does is it internally rotates the shoulder, a powerful internal rotator. So you see they're called the rotator cuff because they produce internal and external rotation in addition to add and abduction. So that's the rotator cuff. Hopefully that gives you a good view and we'll see more of those as we go forward.